Welcome back to Spell Tutorial Services. Today's video was about finding the unit vector that has the same direction as vector v. And to accomplish this, there's a formula. And that formula is where we take the vector v and we divide vector v by its magnitude. And basically, the magnitude is just the length of the vector. So what we want to do is find a unit vector that has a magnitude of 1. So our vector we're starting off with is vector 8i minus 6j. So that's going to be our numerator. And then to find the magnitude or the length of that vector, we take the square root of its two components. The first component we square is 8 plus the second component that we square is negative 6. That works out to be 64 plus 36. I add, that becomes 100. And the square root of 100 is 10. So now I'm going to put, I'm going to substitute these values in place. So for vector v, well, let's do it over here. For vector v, I have 8i minus 6j divided by 10. I can simplify 8i over 10 minus 6j over 10. This becomes 4i over 5 minus 3i over 5. So this here is the unit vector that points in the same direction as v. But let's go ahead and do uh, the check or let's verify that this new vector has a magnitude of 1. So we'll call this new vector, I'm going to call this new vector u. So to find the magnitude of u, I'm going to take the square root of the sum of the two components. So 4 fifths squared plus a negative 3 fifths squared. 4 squared that becomes 16 over 25 plus 9 over 25. 16 plus 9 is 25. Keep my denominator. 25 divided by 25 is 1, and the square root of 1 is 1. So I see that my magnitude of my unit vector is 1, so I know that my work up here is correct. All right, that concludes this video on finding the unit vector. Please friend us on Facebook and also uh, find us on our YouTube channel, both found at Spello Tutorial. Thanks again for watching.